Let's talk about something we've all thought about at the airport. Those portable chargers we rely on to keep our devices powered up when traveling. Can you bring them on a plane? Let's cover everything you need to know to be prepared for your next trip. I'm Huey Poplock. First, the good news. You absolutely can bring portable chargers on planes and they're actually strongly encouraged in your carry-on luggage. However, there are some important regulations set by the FAA and the TSA that we need to be aware of. The biggest rule is that portable chargers are allowed in carry-on bags but strictly prohibited in checked luggage. This might seem inconvenient, but there's a good reason. Lithium-ion batteries which power most portable chargers, can pose a fire risk if damaged or short circuit. In the cabin, issues can quickly be identified and addressed, but in the cargo hold, that's a different story. Another key regulation is the watt-hour limit for each battery. The magic number to remember is 100 watt-hours. Now, you might be wondering exactly what a watt hour is. You might find it on your charger, but sometimes it's expressed in milliamp hours, M-A-H. A watt hour is essentially a measure of energy capacity, how much power a battery can hold. For batteries between 100 and 160 watt hours, you might be able to travel with them but you'll need an airline approval beforehand. For international flights, there's thankfully good consistency across the globe. The International Air Transport Association, the IATA, has set guidelines similar to FAA and TSA regulations. The 100 watt hour limit is generally good no matter where you are going. But remember that IATA sets the baseline, and the individual airlines and countries might have their own specific requirements. Let's take a look at some of the airline policies. Delta Airlines, for example, follows the standard 160 watt hour cutoff, but also has a limit of 20 spare batteries per passenger. This includes both loose batteries and external power banks. Most major airlines like Lufthansa, American Airlines, Emirates, and Qantas align with the IATA. Singapore Airlines is unique, allowing some battery-powered devices in check baggage, provided they're completely powered off. Now let's tackle that confusing conversion between milliamp hours and watt hours. The formula pretty, is pretty straightforward. Watt hours equals voltage multiplied by milliamp hours divided by 1000. Most battery pack would be 37 watt hours, 10,000 times 3.7 divided by 1000 well below the limit. Even a 20,000 milliamp pack comes to 74 watt hours, still safe. However, a 50,000 milliamp battery would be 185 watt hours, exceeding even the special case limit. For those looking for specific recommendations, there are several great options. The Anker 622 Magnetic Battery, or MAGO, is a compact 5,000 milliamp charger with MagSafe compatibility for iPhones. The Anker 533 Power Bank, or which is Power Core 10K, offers 10,000 milliamp capacity with both USB-C and USB-A ports. For power users, the Anker 737 Power Bank Power Cord 24K uh, packs an impressive 24,000 milliamp capacity or 88.8 .8 watt hours with fast charging capabilities. That information comes from Anchor. 
It's fascinating how portable chargers have become essential travel companions, reflecting our increasing reliance on technology. While this might raise questions about our dependence on devices, these chargers provide valuable peace of mind, especially when dealing with long layovers or unpredictable delays. There are safety nets ensuring that we stay connected to have access to important information throughout our journey. Remember always to check your specific airline's policies before traveling. A little knowledge goes a long way in assuring smooth and enjoyable travels. Safe travels and keep those batteries charged.